Hey friends, so I am halfway through my Midwest workshop tour and as you can hear, I am pretty froggy because I actually got sick the day before I flew to Chicago. But I have had an amazing time these last few days in Chicago, Detroit, and Cincinnati. And I've been cooling my jets with uh, my friend Kate in Cincinnati for the past couple days here. But I did want to keep on making videos for you guys and giving you guys new stuff to learn. So uh, Drex here from DrexFactor.com and today I'm gonna give you one of the beginner combos that people are learning in my Poi Dance Masterclass. Uh, and and before we dive in, I just want to give a big shout out to the friends of the channel. Uh, big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all of these awesome companies by checking out the links down in the description of this video. So this beginner combo is all about a piece of uh, feedback that I got from a fan a little while ago asking to learn how to dress up some more beginner moves. That is, how to make even beginner moves look more dancey, uh, which is a great challenge because there's tons of ways that you can move with them. And so for this combo, you're only going to need to know three tricks. That's right. You're only going to need to know how to do three beat weaves and waist wraps, as well as butterflies, and finally, just standard real turns. That's it. But we're going to add a lot of dance onto this one. So uh, you can find tutorials for all these tricks down in the description or up in the cards if you happen to be watching this video on YouTube. I'm going to give you guys the combo at full speed, then I'm going to go through it piece by piece and finally show it to you again in slow-mo before I send you guys off. Cool, so this combo is actually a lot simpler than it looks. Let me give you the basic pieces of it and then we'll add the dance on top of it, yeah? So to start off with, you just need to do a waist strap. You're gonna start by going to a reverse weave on your left hand side and then you're gonna turn over to a forwards weave on your right side. You're only gonna do one on each side. So it's reverse, forwards, and then you're gonna use a waist strap to go 360 degrees around yourself, yeah? When you get back to the front, that right hand poi is gonna kind of, uh, either a pendulum or a stall, it's gonna lose its momentum, and you're gonna come out of it into a butterfly. Now, once you get to the butterfly here, you're actually gonna let both poi just go out to the sides and sweep past your legs, and then finally, let them both stall out to your sides, yeah? So altogether what that looks like is reverse weave, over to the forwards weave, then turning all the way around, Stall out the right poi, butterfly, you can hang onto this as many beats as you want to, out to the sides, out to the sides. As I'm doing that turn from side to side, I'm really just letting my hands sweep past each of my hips, yeah? So there's no point at which my arms might cross. It's almost just like I'm walking back and forth, yeah? And of course, as I'm doing that, I'm turning my whole body. I wind up with my back to the audience and I sweep both of the poi around, to stall out to the sides, yeah? Uh, from here, I bring the left hand poi over to meet the right poi, and I just do a standard reel turn over to the sides. Both of my poi go up and over to my left. I get in a couple beats. I stop myself from moving, and I turn back the other way, and whenever I feel ready to do so, I just drop them behind my shoulders, like so. Uh, so, none of the dance involved. The combo winds up being reverse to the left, forwards to the right, turning all the way around, stall out the right poi, butterfly, pendulum, pendulum, and we stall down, left hand comes over, we turn over to the left, we turn over to our left once again, and we drop them both back past our shoulders. Okay, now how do we get the dance into this? Um, so the first thing that's going to be different is as we're doing that waist strap back and forth, uh, rather than just like turning in place, you're going to imagine that the poi are going to be in the same place and your body is going to move with them. Let's go over here so I've got a little bit more room to work with, yeah? Um, so rather than just keeping your feet riveted here and everything, what I want you to do is kind of like take a three-point turn with your poi. And as I'm doing this, I'm doing a little bit of a jump, a tour jeté. Um, you don't have to do that. You can, the counts work just as easy if you want to take it just around as you step. 
it's traveling with the waist strap rather than uh, just uh, kind of letting it go around you. It, it's, it's kind of switching off which is the element that moves to the side and which element moves around in circles, yeah? So once you have done that turn around, again, the right hand poi stops off, and as you uh, do that pendulum out, you step back with your left foot and kind of open up as though you're a Spitfire uh, trying to uh, open up your wings in World War II, right? As you sweep past, that allows you to kind of unwrap your legs and everything, and as you stall around, you can do a little jump with both of your feet to once again wind up with that left foot wrapped a little bit behind you. Left foot and left hand come over, so now I'm facing over to what would be my right, and as I do the turn around, I stop myself by sticking my right foot out before I come around, and of course, when I drop the point behind my back, I give the camera a good saucy look, yeah? so. All that from the top. We have, moving over here, um, <clears throat> we've got reverse weave, forward weave. We take the turn or the jump, it's your choice. We switch out of it into the butterfly and come down, around. We do the jump, come up and over. We make the turn, we kick out, reverse our direction here, and boom and with the poi behind our shoulders and the saucy look, yeah? Um, cool, so let me show that to you again in slow-mo. So, beginners, I hope that you see some dance possibilities with some of those tricks that you have just been picking up in that first year. I know there's a lot of stuff that's moving around pretty rapidly and everything, but even with these three simple tricks, you can do some really beautiful stuff. So be on the lookout for uh, all the dance possibilities there. If you can, post videos of yourself doing this combo to Instagram with the hashtag DrexFactorPoi. I would love to see what you do with this. And in the meantime, if you live in Louisville, Nashville, St. Louis, or Peoria, I'm gonna be coming your way this very weekend and you can still get tickets by heading over to DrexFactor.com slash upcoming events. And uh, come and visit me and we'll learn even more Poi dance together, yeah? Finally, before I set you guys loose, I just want to put out a massive thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon, because you guys are the reason that these videos exist. If you would like to sign up to become one of my supporters, you can head on over to patreon.com slash DrexFactorPoi, and thank you in advance. Cool, so did you dig this combo? I have lots of other combos available on this channel that you can check out in a playlist that I will stick down in the description. Uh, what are some of your favorite Poi dance moves? Let me know. And be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other videos, and I will see you guys as soon as I can. Peace.